Hello, I hope you are doing good. Welcome to my channel, The Office Guys Tutorials. In this video, we are going to see how we can create publication ready graphs or charts using Microsoft Excel. So here on the screen, you can see we have data. One is the distance and which increases from zero to 10. And then we have some result. In my case, it is the hardness value. And my intention is to plot this on a graph. So what we usually do is, anyway, there is already one graph just for you. Let me plot once again. So select the data and what we usually do is we go to the insert tab and uh, you can go to recommended charts. That's okay. And then you click here and then you get, I mean, the similar graph that you get. Let me just delete this. Now this graph is usually unacceptable when you're taking it for publication purpose. Now in this tutorial, I'm going to tell you how you can convert the same graph, how you can change the formatting and everything and bring it to look like this. I mean, this is the same data, but you can see how nicely the graph looks now and it's ready to publish. You can put it in your articles or any journal publications. So without any further ado, let me just start this tutorial. So I will keep this aside. Okay. Just for the reference, I'm keeping aside and let's say you have this data. So select the data, insert recommended charts, and I will go with the scatter plot. With the dots connected click ok so next what all things need to be changed so i always first in publication chart uh, there is no need of having a title but it's again your choice so for me i personally don't use so i'm just going to delete this next thing we need to increase the font size of these text because they are not readable and the font as well okay so first thing is size and then the font face so I'll come to the home option and I'll select this uh, text over here or this column particularly. So just a click over here and I usually go with 14 and then the font I usually take as Arial. Good. And then I change the color to automatic or this on the top black. Good. And I'll just turn into bold. The same settings I will apply to the bottom uh, X axis as well. So select this change the font to 14 change the color to black font type to Arial, and make it bold looks good I will just extend it a little bit I'll just make it big so that you people can see it so something of this sort looks great we are going good now and next what I'm going to do is uh, we need to add some access detail right what is this what are these values we need to inform so select this you can see a plus icon over here and then you can add access title. So this for me, I know it is hardness, hardness and the units are HV. Good. And I'm going to select the entire text by pressing control A, change the color to black font size. I usually keep it two points bigger than what this text. So we kept 14 for this. I'm going to make 16. Uh, this text so 16 font I'm going to take Arial once again the font choice is also yours some people like to go with Times New Roman but I personally like uh, Arial good to go the same settings I'm going to apply here as well so press ctrl A 16 font font face is Arial and then I'm going to change color and make it bold so it's looking good now now the next thing is we need to add two axes here. Okay, two axes over here. To do that, just select this text over here. Right click, format axis, and then you can see something coming up on the right hand side. You can see one bucket option over here. And then under the line option, you can just take a solid line with black color. And I usually go with 1.5. Good. So you can see we got X axis line over here. Similar thing you can do for the Y axis as well. So select the box over here, come to the bucket and uh, change it to solid line of black color and 1.5. So now you can see our graph is kind of taking shape. Next thing I like to close the entire graph in a box, for example, like this. Okay. I'll just keep it, uh, bring it here. So you can see how the graph is enclosed, right? 
so i'm going to do that as well to do that just click here okay on the white part here and in the border come to the solid line then make sure the color is black and give the same thickness as you have given to the axis next thing this line so right now I'm, I'm i'm not liking this line so what i usually do is i go with the black line if there is only one line if there are multiple lines yes we can we can we can give in different colors so that i'm going to cover in the next tutorial soon so select the line come to the series option and uh, fill in line in the line color i'll go with the solid line and uh, i usually go with a slightly thicker line so around two points if you wish you if you want not solid line you want a dotted line so you can just select the line and then you can change the uh, dash type to uh, sorry the dash type to the third option dotted so you can see the dotted now the next important thing is the dots over here right you have a marker over here so you just select the marker and uh, again come to the bucket option and you can see there is an option called marker and in the marker first i want a solid fill color and uh, make sure that is black and border uh, it's your wish if you want you can add so we can go with a solid line of black color and uh, some good amount of thickness we can add let's, let's say example 1.5 so now we have a good looking marker as well now still the graph doesn't look good to me there are few things missing let's do it right away so one thing is we need to add some marks over here right you can see there are some tick ticks over here which tells us where is the data okay so i'm going to add that now so select the data and uh, the fourth option from here called axis option so tick mark option and then in the major type you can just make it inside and in the minor type you can also make it inside so you can see we got the tick similar way we can do for the x axis as well so select this come to the axis option tick mark major inside minor inside in fact if you wish you can play around with the other options as well so now the graph is still looking good to me but i have a few things to improvise over here okay we can give the title for the bottom axis as well so is the distance and uh, units let's take it as mm it can be anything of your choice now what i personally don't like about is uh so next thing that can be improvised is the grid lines so in majority of the graphs i personally don't like uh, grid points so in case if you want to turn off the grid line you can just click on the plus icon over here and you can turn off the grid line so you can see the grid line goes off if you wish to retain the grid line you can just click on the grid line now you can see you are getting the horizontal grid line if you want the vertical grid line as well you can just click here and if you are minor grid lines also you can just click here now next thing the why the graph still doesn't look good is because there is huge amount of area which is of no use for us so remember always whenever you're plotting data graphs it's always important that you should stick to the range that you really want okay so in this case i can see the minimum value is 308 so starting the graph from 300 seems reasonable for me okay 300 to somewhere around 430 or 450 that's also fine now how to change this series so right now it's starting from zero so to change that select this and fourth option in the format axis you can see right now it's starting the bound starts from zero i really don't want that so i want it to start from 300 and now you can see the data moves and it starts looking little better next thing is i need to i need to do the similar thing from here as well i don't want this empty data over here so i want to show up to 10 so i'll just select it 10 and now this looks good so let's say you are going to put this graph in your word file but you can see there is one still one. there is one last thing that is left to improvise here is the uh, we have a kind of a border outside the chart which i really personally don't like so what you can do is select the graph and uh, under the border option you just make it no line okay so with this our graph is ready and uh, i wish i was able to add little bit value to your research so just to account for that please do consider to subscribe to my channel i'll be creating similar videos 
on graphs and chart especially for research and publications uh, in the coming videos so please consider to subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you get update thanks for watching